what happened to the swinging blue jeans. The group's beginnings trace back to 1957 when Bruce McCaskill established a skiffle sextet called the Blue Jeans, infused with jazz influences. Along Bruce, the original lineup comprised banjo player Tommy Hughes, washboard player Norman Cuck, and drum bass player Spud Ward. Initial changes in personnel occurred was when guitarist Ralph Ellis joined the band, and Ward was succeeded by Les Braid. Hughes and McCaskill were later replaced by Johnny Carter and Paul Moss. By 1962, they had fully formed as a working band, performing skiffle at Liverpool venues and the Star Club in Hamburg. Unfortunately, the German audience disapproved, prompting the group to swiftly shift their direction and focus. The band transitioned to rock and roll, adopting the name The Swinging Blue Jeans to reflect their style. This rebranding featured a quintet consisting of Ennis, Braid, Ellis, Cuck, and Moss. Their new identity caught the attention of record producer Walter Ridley, leading to a recording contract with HMV. The quintet's debut recording, It's Too Late Now, written by Ennis, reached the British Top 30. After Moss's departure, the band became a quartet. In December 1963, their cover of the song Hippie Hippie Shake propelled them to number two on the British charts, solidifying their status as stars. For three years, they experienced success along the rise and fall of Mersey Beat itself. The Swinging Blue Jeans followed the standard Shadows lineup with two guitars, a bass guitar, and drums. They gained local fame through the Mardi Gras Club and the Cavern Club. In 1964, they released their album, Blue Jeans is Swinging, while an American LP titled Hippie Hippie Shake included tracks from 45s and EPs, featuring the U.S.-only instrumental Wasting Time. Early in 1966, Terry Sylvester from The Escorts replaced Ellis, who had shared songwriting duties with Ray Ennis. The band gradually shifted towards a middle-of-the-road direction that failed to yield success. In 1967, their producer Ridley attempted to transform Ennis into a solo star, recording the song Trembling, with session musicians and backing vocals from Madeline Bell and Kiki D. However, the track was ultimately released under the band's name. That same year, the band expanded to a five-piece with the addition of another member of the Escorts, bass player Mike Gregory, while Braid switched to keyboards. Sylvester departed at the end of 1968 to replace Graham Nash in the Hollies. Eventually, the band retired from the music scene and transitioned to the cabaret circuit. Sylvester made his debut with the Hollies in January 1969, lending his vocals to UK chart hits such as Sorry Suzanne and He Ain't Heavy, He's My Brother, as well as albums like Holly Sing Dylan and Holly Sing Hollies. His first contribution to the group was the song Gloria Swan Song. He continued to write songs independently with Alan Clark and as part of Clark Hicks Sylvester. During the 1972-1973 period, when Swedish vocalist Mikael Rickforce temporarily replaced Clark, Sylvester took on a greater share of responsibilities. On the album Romany from 1972, he sang several lead vocals, including a cover of Judy Sills' Jesus Was a Crossmaker. On Out on the Road in 1973, Sylvester took the lead on songs like Slow Down, Go Down, Pick Up the Pieces, and Mr. Heartbreaker. After a period of discontent partly over musical policy, Sylvester split with the Hollies in 1981. In 1974, Sylvester released his self-titled solo album, reissuing it as I Believe with a slightly altered track listing in 1976. Jimmy Griffin provided harmony vocals on the track Traveling Boy, while Sylvester recorded solo versions of his Holly songs Cable Car, Indian Girl, Pick Up the Pieces Again, and later a solo rendition of his 1973 Holly song I Had a Dream, which was added to the CD release of the album. 
The 1974 single on Polydor for The Peace of All Mankind, a cover by Albert Hammond, and a couple of singles in 1976, I believe a cover by Stevie Wonder and End of the Line, all fell to chart. In 1978, Sylvester released non-album singles Too Bad, Lucy Jane, and Silver and Gold in the UK, but these also fell to chart. He had also previously contributed vocals to the Alan Parsons Project's debut album, Tales of Mystery and Imagination from 1975, taking the lead on To One in Paradise and providing background vocals on the cask of Amontillado, alongside John Miles. In 1982, Sylvester collaborated with Jimmy Griffin in Memphis, Tennessee, and together they record and release Griffin and Sylvester on Polydor. The single Please Come to My Life was released from this album. In the mid-1990s, Sylvester reunited with Griffin as the duo Griffin and Sylvester, and embarked on tours in the UK and Canada as part of the Soft Rock Cafe. Their friendship and partnership continued part-time until Griffin's passing in January 2005. The 1982 album was reissued on CD with three additional songs in 1999. In 1994, Sylvester released another solo album, I Believe in Love, featuring live versions of his Hollies and solo recordings, as well as covers such as It Never Rains in Southern California, taken from a concert recorded on March 20th, 1994 in Germany. In early 1999, Alan Lavelle temporarily replaced guitarist Colin Manley due to Manley's declining health. However, Manley passed away in April 1999, and Lavelle became a permanent member of the band, assuming the roles of lead guitarist and vocalist for the Swinging Blue Jeans. Following the death of Les Braid in 2005, Peter Oakman took over on bass guitar and vocals. After concluding the Solid Silver 60s tour in May 2010, Ray Ennis officially retired and publicly announced his retirement on the radio. During and before the tour, Ennis offered Lovell the opportunity to continue with the band using the name The Swinging Blue Jeans. Initially, Lavelle declined but later registered the trademark for The Swinging Blue Jeans without Ray Ennis' knowledge. Phil Thompson on drums could not continue with the band due to personal reasons, so in June 2010, two new musicians joined, Graham Hollingworth on drums and Jeff Bannister on keyboards and vocals. A double album titled The Complete Works 1969-1982 was released in France on Magic Records in 2001, featuring Sylvester's recordings with the Hollies, mainly with Sylvester on lead vocals also had the Alan Parsons Project, his solo work, and Griffin and Sylvester. In 2010, Sylvester was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of the Hollies. Subsequently, Ennis decided to challenge Lovell's ownership of the trademark, but a court ruling affirmed Lovell's exclusive legal rights to the name. An appeal was filed afterward but was also dismissed. Meanwhile, Ennis came out of retirement to make occasional appearances with another band under the name Ray Ennis' Blue Jeans. The Swinging Blue Jeans continue to perform today with no original members under the leadership of Lovell. And that's what happened to the Swinging Blue Jeans. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know who I should do next. And give me some facts about the Swinging Blue Jeans that I failed to mention. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.